<laughs> Why does Uranus appear blue? Uranus appears blue due to the presence of methane in its atmosphere. Methane absorbs red wavelengths of sunlight while allowing blue and green wavelengths to be scattered and reflected back into space. This selective absorption creates the planet's distinctive cyan blue hue. The planet's atmosphere also contains hydrogen and helium, but these gases do not significantly affect its color. The uniform, hazy cloud cover of Uranus further enhances its soft blue appearance. Hmm. Why did giraffes evolve to have long necks? Giraffes have long necks, primarily to access food in tall trees like acacia that other herbivores can't reach. This evolutionary adaptation helps them thrive in habitats where competition for ground-level foliage is fierce. Hmm. Additionally, their necks are used for necking, a form of combat where males swing their necks to establish dominance and win mates. The longer and stronger the neck, the better the chance of success. Hmm. How and why do kangaroos hop? Kangaroos hop because it's the most efficient way for them to travel. Their strong hind legs and large feet work like springs, propelling them forward with little effort. This helps them cover long distances quickly while saving energy thus helping them find food and water more easily. Their muscular tails provide balance and support during their leaps, thus keeping them steady as they hop. Hopping is also faster than walking, allowing kangaroos to escape predators more easily. Hmm. <laughs> is it normal for airplane wings to wobble? When an aircraft flies at a constant speed and altitude, the forces pushing it up and down are balanced, resulting in no net force. However, entering a region of higher air density, like a cloud, increases lift, pushing the plane upward and causing the wings to bend upward. Exiting into lower density air reduces lift, making the plane descend and the wings bend downward. These rapid shifts in lift force cause the wings to flex, creating the wobbling effect. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap huh? heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Huh? Why does a cat eat grass? Firstly, the most common reason cats eat grass is to help vomit up hairballs that accumulate in their digestive tract due to grooming. Secondly, grass can act as a natural laxative to help the cats with constipation. Thirdly, some people believe that grass contains nutrients like folic acid that may be beneficial to a cat's diet. Lastly, some people also believe that cats might also just like the taste and feeling of chewing the grass. Mm. Huh? Why isn't the Leaning Tower of Pisa falling down? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't fall because a line drawn from the tower's center of gravity to the ground passes through its base. Hmm. Secondly, the relationship between the tower's height and rigidity and the softness of the soil keeps the tower from falling. Hmm. Lastly, the long construction delays allowed the ground to become compact and the structure to settle, thus making the tower's foundation stronger over time. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests 
that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. Why do animals migrate? Firstly, depending on whether the days are getting longer or shorter, some animals are able to figure out which season is approaching and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Secondly, depending on the prevailing temperatures, huh? some animals are able to guess the incoming season and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Lastly, some animals decide when to migrate depending upon the availability of food in that area. If there is scarcity of food, they may decide to migrate to a place with abundant food supply. Hmm. Huh? Where does gold come from? Simple. From Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle as well as crust. Hmm. What is the purpose of eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows were erased. Hmm. <laughs> what is an Adam's apple? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. As a result, in men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm.